So say it has gone from Cayman Island to Switzerland. Then Cayman Island is a British prince bank. So it will be called British money. If it has gone from Jersey Island, then Jersey Island is also British. <coughs> so when the uh, Swiss government gives the data on uh, how much money of the Indians is there in the Swiss bank accounts, it's only 8,000 crores, 10,000 crores, 12,000 crores. Whereas it is much larger. So this 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 crores rupees is actually the money that is legitimately put into the Swiss accounts. It's not black. Because black has gone from Cayman Island, from Jersey Island, from British Virgin Island. There are 90 tax havens in the world. So therefore it's called British money. So when you ask the Swiss government, they say the largest amount of money in the Swiss accounts is from Britain. Because Britain has the largest number of tax havens. So therefore tracking the money, the black money that's gone out, tracking it back to India, this is called round tripping. You take a trip out and then you round trip it into the stock market. So this round tripping is used by Indian businessmen to take the black out and bring it back into India. And this is not just the businessman's money. It could be the politician's money. It could be the corrupt bureaucrat's money. It could be the corrupt, corrupt judge's money. So a lot of corrupt people take their money out through hawala, through under invoicing and over invoicing. These are the mechanism through which money black is taken out and then through the shell companies it's uh, tracked and then brought back into India. So you bring it back through Mauritius, through Singapore, through Dubai, through Cayman Island and so on. So the Hindenburg has asked all these questions that who are these people who are putting money in? What is the linkage? And there are a lot of linkages, you know, like this uh, Vinsum, you know, Jeweller's uh, this uh, Shah fellow, huh? he has brought it money, he, he has already run away, he's a diamond uh, merchant, this thing. And by the way, Adani also started off as a trader of diamonds. So his links and diamond trade has a lot of black money generation and a lot of round tripping etc. goes on. Because diamonds are very uh, small quantity, high value. So it's, it's easy to use to do your round tripping and so on. So a lot of these connections are pointed out in Hindenburg report as to how this black money is coming back into India and using that to manipulate the stock market and raise the stock market price. So that's why the price is very high compared to the earning and the P ratio sometimes is 100, 200, 400, 600, which is unheard of. Now, when high valuation is on the basis of this high amount of loan, and this kind of uh, valuation and money coming from outside, then Hindenburg is a short seller. That you must have heard the term short selling. So what is short selling? I don't have the share, but I sell it in the market. So in share market, there are not a lot of notional trades. That I, I say that I'm selling Tata share, I'm selling Birla share, I'm selling Airtel share, but I don't have it. And at the end of the day, I square the position. So whatever I had sold, I purchased that and squared it with the broker. So if you know that the price of some share will fall, then today by selling it say at 1000 and I know it will fall to 500, then if suppose somebody says, okay, give me the share, then I'll buy in the market 500 and give it. So I made 500 rupees profit. So short sellers short the stock. By selling, even if I don't have the equity, I sell it. And then, if suppose somebody wants a delivery, then I say, okay, today the price is 500, I'm buying at 500, giving it to you. So short sellers make big profit. That is how Soros, in 1996-97, made huge sums of money by shorting the Thai path, the South Korean uh, won and so on. Okay. Remember there's a contagion in 96-97 when the global crisis took place and the stock market <coughs> declined very dramatically, you know, starting with the Southeast Asian thing. So there are these short sellers in the market. And the short sellers, then they see an opportunity that some stock is unduly high. 
then they realize that there is an opportunity. So that's what Hindenburg had done. That the FPO was coming, <coughs> follow on public uh, offer. Huh? Uh, and before that, they released the report and they shorted the stock. And the stock declined. Okay. And because, you see, uh, how, how do you prevent that from happening? Like, uh, Ambani's did that once in 1982-83. Suddenly the price dropped from 160 to 90. The land share price. But overnight, they brought in 22 crores of rupees. That time, 22 crores of rupees was a lot of money. 22 crores came and the price came back to 160. After that, nobody has dared to short Reliance stock. But here there was an opportunity. And Adani's could not bring more money immediately. So the price started to rise. Okay. So that is what has been happening. That uh, in the stock market, now the price, as you already heard, uh, what in the FPO was at 3,200 with a band of plus minus 100, okay, that had collapsed to 2,700 by the 27th of January. And on uh, 31st of January, when the last year of the FPO was there, the Adanis tried to jack up the price of uh, their share by bringing in some money, by getting some investments done. But still it was at 2,900. So my question is, this is what shows how the Adanis operate. Because suddenly on 31st, their share was fully subscribed, the FPO was fully subscribed. That means investors were investing. But who are these investors? If I can buy in the market at 2,900, why am I putting 3,200 in the FPO? If I'm a genuine investor, I would buy in the market at 2,900. I won't buy in the FPO at 3,200. So this shows there are two possibilities. You know, high net worth individuals like Jindal and so on, they purchase 400, 500 crores uh, like that. They are under pressure to buy. Otherwise, they would buy in the market and they would make a profit. And everybody knew that the price would fall further. So not only did it not stay at 2,900, it dropped to 2,100. So by buying at 3,200, I would make a loss of 1,100 rupees per share. So they are buying only because they are under pressure. And who is pressurizing them to make a loss? Obviously the powers that be in the country. Why would they listen to anybody else? So that's one mechanism. That Adani's closeness to the powers that be has enabled them to acquire assets, to pressurize other businessmen, to give, the, give up their assets in their favor. And what's the second? Money came in from abroad. Now, are people abroad foolish that they would buy something available in the market at 2,900 for 3,200? No. That is their Adani's money coming back through round trip. What money they had over there, that is what was coming. Okay. Now, therefore the FPO got subscribed, but this tells us how Adani's operate. They bring in money from outside, the black money, etc. that has gone abroad, and they use government pressure to acquire assets. So it sort of proves the point that people are making, that there is cronyism. Cronyism is very level pe chal raha hai. This is not a good thing. When the people are in the world, they are in the world. And when the people are in the world, they are in the world. So, this is If the stock price is rising so unduly and the P ratio becomes 600, 400, 200, whereas it should be in the range of 25, 20, something like that. Then what is SEBI doing? SEBI is the regulator of the stock exchange. So why is SEBI not looking at it? Where is all this money coming in from? How is their valuation so high? But the question is, SEBI is under Ministry of Finance. So would Ministry of Finance allow SEBI to investigate? Then drugs came in through Adani port in Gujarat, 30,000 crores worth. 
not small quantities. Uh, we are talking about thousands of crores, not once, several times. What happened to the investigation? Why no investigation was done? And why is so much drug coming in through the Adani port? So, investigative agencies are under government control. And they are not going to investigate if they think that the government is with the Adani. So, all this shows that there is a negative